Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book video. And just to let you know, we're live streaming this uh, at the same time as well. And what I had planned to do for this live stream is uh, to do a live stream of us just listing stuff on eBay. I was going to go through my collection, put some stuff on eBay to sell, to get a revenue stream coming in so I can buy some equipment and do an upgraded system so we can create more content and whatnot, right? As well as putting on some of my mermaid comics on eBay because people were asking me where they can get some of those comics and they're hard to find, right? Putting them on eBay and whatnot. I wasn't organized enough to do that. So what I was able to do for this stream is I have some stacks of stuff here I want to show you. I want to show you what I've been reading for the last few months and if you recall we've put out videos uh, before uh, where I basically right now I'm just going through reader copies dollar or less comics I've been buying either in the dollar bins on eBay or like uh, sale one dollar stuff reprints that some publishers have been putting out right so we put out a couple of videos at least of what I was what I've been reading what kind of mode I've been in regards to reading comic books and I'm still in that mode so I'm just reading random comics and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna here's the stack here's the stack okay I'm gonna show you Speedy Gonzales wise what I've been reading okay I also put out brought out the comics that I picked up this week so I'm going to show you what I've been pulling this week and I have last week's as well and I have a box with some other weeks just in the last month or a couple of months just filling up a short box right so I have some of the more recent comics that I've been pulling I have a stack of comics that are the stack of comics that are my to read list right which are basically one dollar stuff same as what I've shown you here I have one toy here that I want to show you I don't usually buy toys toys but I have one toy here that I'd like to show you. And people have been asking me how I make decisions of what to buy and whatnot. And usually it's just scanning the racks. And I, that's what I do every week. I go there, I get my pull list, and I scan the racks to see what catches my eye. And depending on my budget, sometimes I don't buy anything. Sometimes if I'm on really tight budget, I just pick up my pull list and I don't even go to the racks. So I'm not even tempted to buy anything, really, right? If I'm on a very tight budget but if I have a little bit of budget I go and scan the racks and I also go through the catalogs that is sent out to comic book stores on a monthly basis by DC Marvel as well as the distributor the monopoly control distributor where other independent not the big two publishers are listing their products okay and I go through the catalogs just just browsing and if I see anything I rip out the pages and I go you know if I think I have the money I have the budget at the end of the month you have to give your orders every month I tell them you know I go there and I go through them again and I say can you order this for me this for me this for me okay and that's what we got planned for today that's my <laughs> grand intro to this video okay aside from that um, we have chat going so I might you know go on tangents and start uh, answering some questions and whatnot uh, if there's chat questions coming up but what I'd like to do is just show you what I've been reading so far okay and it's again it's a stack this big I don't know this is like probably two or three months of just random readings right uh, I'll ever do a list okay take a look at this <laughs> and this is sort of in order uh, they're basically in order of what I've read right so I have the stack sitting in a corner in the in my space right and I have another stack which is like it's already maxed out to the top it's like huge right so I have the stack sitting there as soon as I finish one comic and I just add to the stack and it slowly grows right so the order that we're going to go through it is what I've read most recently okay and what's been going on is Marvel has been putting out stuff that are basically sort of reprints of things that they have printed in the past right and they reintroduced Conan the Barbarian right and as you know I love 
Conan. Conan, Savage Sword of Conan, is one of my favorite series of all time. Amazing comic books, right? And because they were doing a push, because they got the rights back from Dark Horse for Conan the Barbarian, or Conan, right? Uh, what they were doing is reprinting $1 issues for some of the key titles. And this one was fantastic. This one, let me show you this one. This one blew me away. You know, I'm, I'm reading it and, uh, you know, the artists vary and the writers vary for each one. This one is, who did this one? This one is by James C. Osley and uh, John Boshima did the artwork for it, right? But, for example, at the end of this, I wasn't, I, I hadn't read this original, right? At the end of this, we get the uh, first appearance, I believe it's the first appearance, okay, of the devourer of souls and this character is phenomenal really i wasn't expecting i don't know if this is the first appearance or not i haven't looked it up online because i believe there's a time where he dies as well where i might might have read a, a dying issue of him as well but i remember reading this character in savage sort of conan and i've read the story with him like at least three times three or four times where he partners up with Conan as well. Initially, he tries to kill him and then partners up with Conan to go after wizards and stuff like that. So these are the type of issues, com comics, that Marvel has been reprinting. And DC Comics did it for a while. And Valiant is just about to start. It's been appearing in, in uh, some of the previews, order forms, right? Hey Chicho, I was wondering. So I'm just gonna flip through, let you let you see what I've been reading, okay? And I'm gonna read some of the comments that are being posted during the live. Uh, hey Chicho, I was wondering if you are interested in buying my pre and post I supplement. No, brother. <laughs> the conversations. <laughs> But if you have pre and post uh, Silver Age comics, now those would be, there's some fantastic comics there. This was hilarious, this one, where Savage Sword of Conan, uh, Savage Sword of Conan, where Conan gets transported, teleported into the future. Nice issue, it was a fun issue. Okay. I want whatever diet Conan was on. <laughs> Conan, uh, uh, Robert E. Howard, I guess that's the diet he was on. He was he created an amazing character, but Conan is mainly meat. <laughs> Some of it raw, right? This one slipped in there. This one's hanging around. I just flipped through it, All right? Eggs and oatmeal, my friend, and my Kino gains supply. Power Man, and this is uh, so. Those were the Conans, and they have I have a whole bunch of other Conans that I got to read, right? And uh, they they were doing a huge push for Luke Cage for season two on Netflix that was coming out. Okay, Power Man, thanks Index, taking care of business. <laughs> Personally, I, I tie them out for life. <laughs> Eggs and oatmeal is fantastic games at home. And oatmeal preferably with fresh fruit, right? And one thing that was going on, uh, there's a lot of Avengers and Fantastic Four because they were doing a push for Fantastic Four series being released as well right so i've been reading a lot of the fantastic four as well a lot of kirby stuff right. as well as they were doing a push for what if so a lot of what if dollar ones spider-man this was fun and i always every first first weekend in may first saturday in may is free comic book day so 
during free comic book day I pick up random stuff and uh, just read through them this was good Aaron uh, Jason Aaron's uh, Thor right I haven't read the original series I have some of the issues I believe I might have bought them on eBay pretty cheap I don't know I can't remember Batman is always there right Batman is always there this was weird <laughs> this, let me show you this this was crazy weird exclusive subscribers edition real life superhero comics right to learn what and it was people dressed up in cosplay Fantastic Four is a Marvel comic okay. and it was just people dressed up in cosplay and with war bubbles uh, it was just weird I wish the story would, that was being told was better <laughs> but they weren't <laughs> it was just interesting okay just interesting true believers All right. so a lot of Fantastic Four and Ant-Man and Wasp movie was coming out so Marvel was pushing these guys This was, uh, it was fun niche, the wedding. This was good. This was the first appearance of uh, Iron Fist, reprint of course, right? It was a good read. I liked it. Right? First time main thing and the thing meet each other. And the thing is, I swear the thing is uh, old school are there valiant one of the questions index is asking uh, are there valiant reprint reprints like this valiant is just in the previews uh, they're starting to release one dollar issues okay I've seen it in this previews in the most recent one for March and I believe it was present in the previous two months as well so valiance is going to start releasing them as well uh, which is cool which is what's needed image does as well but they haven't released one for a while now the one dollar issues uh, and I was reading all the image ones as well right so uh, it's a great deal for a dollar right this was a fun read Good read okay I didn't pick this up when it was first coming out nice thank you top fiber <laughs> nice and I wasn't picking this up I didn't pick this up I remember picking up on the off the on the racks flip through and going oh the artworks cool uh, but I was on budget so I was limited on what I was buying and I put it back I should have bought it it's going for a fair bit of price now right Hellblazer and those were uh, the Halloween special comics that they came out right this one Hellblazer always worth reading always worth reading okay Punisher Max this is a great Punisher series Garth Ennis's Punisher Max I've read some of it. Uh, fantastic. True believers. Fantastic Four. I think I've I've read all the Fantastic Four stuff. Okay. Fun reads. Lady Mechanica. I love the artwork. The world, the universe they've built, not bad. Pretty good. I don't follow the series, but I've read some of the these random off and ons uh, it hasn't grabbed me but I can appreciate it steampunk basically okay very cool steampunk hello fast car how are you doing like the artworks really good take a look at this let me put these this stack down all right take a look the artworks fantastic for it makes me think of a day of the, the 
that aesthetic, yeah. Hi, can you hi, can you shout to no I'm sorry, I don't do any shout outs anymore. People were coming in and giving names that were <laughs> meant something else, <laughs> so I stopped doing it. Punisher War Journal. Nice series. I read this series pretty deep. Somewhat anyway. Okay. I don't remember much of it, but it was fun. Artwork looks artwork looks amazing for Lady Mechanica, really. And who's the artist for it? It's uh, it's the people that uh, it's their own creation. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Uh, created by Joe uh, Bennett's, penciled by Joe Bennett's and Martin Montel. Story by Joe Bennett's and M M Chen. Okay. I mean, look at this beautiful artwork, beautiful coloring right fantastic really uh, like wow right it's very nice very nice okay. this was <laughs> I like this one here let me show you why <laughs> This is uh, Superior Spider-Man, Doc Ock taking over uh, Peter Parker's body, right? And this is the last panel? No, it wasn't the last panel. <laughs> Where? It must be here. I think it was this one. Oh, maybe it wasn't this one. It's where Peter Parker... Uh, Punches black cat. <laughs> Was it this one or a different one? It might be a different one. Okay. It was fun. But this was good. Artwork was good. Okay. And it was a fun story. Oh, I got a few more Surge Taking Out Vinyl uh, pieces recently. Empty walls, multicolored, 7 inch. Nice. For $11. And it's Elected that symphony album for 60. Wow, that thing's going expensive, eh? Also, I love the two romance comic readings you put out. Yeah, those romance comic readings. Man, I got it. I was going to spend more time adding more information in the edits. It was just becoming too much, right? The romance comics were fantastic. I'm glad you liked. I'm glad you liked Fast Car. They're some of my favorite videos to make, those readings. I'm going to release the Gene Kelly interview solo tomorrow, just the 16 minutes of it. This was fun. What if? What if Craven had killed Spider-Man? Right? Fun read. Fun read. Uh, who did the story for it? Roy Thomas? No. Uh, story and pencil, pencils by Richard Howell. Uh, inks by Mary Severn. Okay. <laughs> it was a fun read. Craven dancing over uh, Spider Man's grave, right? Basically. $60 was a fair price for it, to be honest. Wow, cool. They usually go for $80. It's pretty rare. Wow. I got to get into album collecting, right? Yeah, that interview was definitely cool. I was watching it last night. Nice, nice. Gene Kelly and I watched the shadow dance in uh, from that movie uh, that Gene Kelly was in, the 1944 movie. That shadow dance, once you hear that, his, his story behind it, uh, it was, it was amazing. It was amazing watching it. Legion, Legion, I can't wait for the last season of Legion to start. Legion series has been phenomenal. One of the best comic book adaptations into film, TV, or movies ever. Phenomenal. Infinity Gauntlet. What a silver surfer had the Infinity Gauntlet. Good read. The vinyl grading system is a lot more simple than comic book comic grading. I bet it is. 
the comic grading is insane it's ridiculous really it's ridiculous like I just grade on what I think it is I don't think I, I grade it according to what the grading companies grade them at first appearance of Punisher reprint of course from Amazing Spider-Man 121 129 this was good okay the artwork for it I believe was pretty cool it was fun artwork bubbly bubbly artwork the story dark heavy but vinyl grading usually goes poor fair good good plus very good very good plus near mint and mint oh it's almost like the comic book grading that's a couple of variations but that's the standard cool punisher the from the first punisher series the mini series okay this was fun the covers were fantastic for these the artwork not bad elect the dead great album great album here's the rest of what i've been reading so i don't know how many comics that is that's just my what i've been reading for i don't know two three months maybe longer since the last comic book reading thing that we put out this was not bad another daredevil right reprint brahma is a block how are you doing welcome to another live stream alias first appearance of just oh no not the first first appearance of jessica jones first appearance of jessica jones one of my favorite i was glad to get the symphony live album of it luke cage we did the reading of this one right first appearance of luke cage good read i picked up the one dollar as well because i wanted it in my reading pile just in case you know people come if they want to read comics i just look through that i ask them you know what do you what do you want to read what type of comic do you like and they tell me something and i pull a stack out of the stacks that i've already read and i go tuk, 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 tuk. here try this try this try this try this so we've already done a reading on this it was a great read great read awesome glad to have you um, brown this was fun i have this original series mini series kitty pride and wolverine i feel like system of down is mentioned on every stream <laughs> probably <laughs> i grabbed daredevil number one reprint as well and we've done a reading of this as well and it was a fantastic reading right when i i had it in the frame right we have a video of this framing daredevil number one and we also have a video of reading daredevil number one and we read it after taking it out of the frame right fantastic read okay right important book one of my favorite videos of yours the daredevil number is it daredevil number one reading yeah it was a great read really it was a fantastic read I daredevil should be valued higher than what it is oh. it should be valued at the same level as spider-man and fantastic four okay maybe not spider-man fantastic four second i don't know i love daredevil right fantastic four this was uh, not bad Marvel Knights Daredevil and Defenders it was okay from what I remember this was a while ago this was the last one in the pile right so I read this like three months ago maybe three four months ago I don't know 
the movie didn't do any favors. No, it didn't. The movie with Ben Affleck. I'm done watching that guy's movie. It's nasty. No one liked it. Though it's sound, uh, soundtrack shot the band uh, into fame, did it? Ever Essence, did it? I liked uh, in the Daredevil movie, Bullseye was amazing. Bullseye was crazy fun, crazy fun. So initially when I watched the first Daredevil movie, I liked it because of Bullseye. He, he, he did a fun, poop, when he did the poop in the airplane with the old lady talking, phenomenal, right? Ben Aff, oh my God. <sighs> Do you have any and own a most prized comic book? One that you value more than any other in your collection, top fiver. Is there a comic book that I value more than any other in my collection? My EC comics. I've, if you've looked at my videos, there's some videos where you see EC comics framed. They're all from 1952 and they're horror and science fiction comics. My EC comics, even though they're not the most expensive, those are the ones that I value a lot. My early valiance as well, I love those, right? Um, but my EC comics, I value a lot. And I've promised myself one day when I have enough funds, I'm going to try to get a complete EC collection. Okay. Let me show you what I have lined up to read. Okay. You're gonna watch, oh for sure I'm gonna watch uh, the new Avengers movie. Um, Immortal Hulk of On the Bandwagon with the Immortal Hulk. And this is uh, the best defense, the Immortal Hulk, right? I didn't pick this up when it first came out, but my comic book store has got it on sale for a dollar. They just put it up on the racks for a dollar. And I pick up a lot of books like that, right? So I picked this up, it's on my pile to read. Okay, so I'll be reading this. In another comic book haul or comic book discussion we had, I showed you guys and I read you guys one page from Magnus Robot. Let me catch these. These are slippery. Some of these are in bags, right? Good thing they're the dollar stuff. Let me put this guy here. One of the bags, we don't need this one. Let me grab these guys. Let me put these guys here. Oh, this, this, this. Ah, when you put them in bags, they're way more slippery, right? So let me put these guys here. Okay, cool. Okay, let's do this. Let me read this. Oof. <laughs> Do the EC go for a premium generally? The Flash is the best DC here. Uh, the ECs, if they're in mint condition, if, uh, I don't, there isn't too many in mint condition. If they're in really good condition, they go they go for premium, premium price. The lower and mid grades are pretty cheap as far as I'm concerned. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, if I had the funds, I'd be going out there and buying as many as I could. that's that's my personal take right batman nerd batman's awesome i've had a heart attack if my records fell i <laughs> know these are the beauty of them is these are all the dollar ones so these are all my reading copies right mostly because of the other characters and his stories yeah the batman the reason batman is so cherished and so loved is not because of batman batman's very one-dimensional is because of the batman's foes right the evil characters in the batman books are what make the batman comic book right batman is very right he's a detective right very regimental he's not very dynamic he does you know well he is dynamic i guess but he's he has a personal uh, demon and that's who batman is all the other villains in the batman books they got, they're 
they're all ADD. They're crazy, right? They're some of the best evil characters. Okay. Actual favorite superhero. Actual favorite superhero, Spider-Man is amazing. Daredevil is amazing. Uh, Bloodshot is amazing. Eternal Warrior is amazing. Uh, Exo is amazing. Archer and Armstrong are amazing. Uh, Rai is absolutely amazing. Magnus Robot Fighter is amazing. So in a previous video, we did a reading of, one page reading of Magnus Robot Fighter number 13. This is a series that came out in the early 1990s, right? And I said, oh, you know, I found that one in the dollar bin. It was a great, great Magnus read. And I have this one already, but it's buried somewhere in my boxes. So I wanted to continue the story and I picked, found this in the dollar bin. So I picked this up again or picked another copy for my reader copy, right? Let me show you these guys. Let me put these guys over here so they don't go flipping down. I love Alfred too. And a couple of the rob yeah the robins are fun the robins are fun oh let me put this in order this guy now these ones i picked up i've only read a couple of issues of this series crossed but i found them in dollar bin and it's this is um crossed 100 and it's by alan moore and it's cross number 100 cross 100 number two and uh number two and number four so I picked this up for a dollar to give them a read, okay? Uh, this is for mature readers. Do not get this if you don't like blood, gore, just nastiness, okay? Uh, it's not a series that I read, uh, but I figured, why not? Okay, in the dollar bin. The normals. I didn't pick this up when it first came out and this is from aftershock i don't believe i picked it up i might have but i didn't read it so have a, i'm gonna give it a read this is the first uh, full appearance of joker's daughter and it was in the dollar bin so i picked it up give it a read i think i've read this i'm pretty sure i've read this but i thought i'd have it in the reading pile just in case someone's interested okay backwards again aftershock dollar magnus is really old i have some in my uh collecting from the 60s awesome love magnus robot fighter solar torak they're from gold key right i believe wacky raceland i saw this and i didn't pick it up but it was on sale for a dollar in the dollar bins right why not this is number two and here's number one okay. some people say batman can beat black panther mm. yeah. i would say yeah yeah batman has beaten superman uh, so given time if he has time to prepare batman can beat anyone he's like the eternal warrior for valiant given time to prepare the eternal warrior will be able to beat anyone because he's very strategic and does the plannings right this is the one superior spider-man number 20. <laughs> i think this is the one where he punches i'm going to crack this open uh, black cat in the face <laughs> i think all right if he does, I'm going to show it to you. Let's do a quick flip. That cross 100 looks pretty cool. The cross 100 is serious business. If, if you're okay with really unnecessary, brutal gore, uh, then <laughs> you might be into it. Here's... Uh, And crossed 100 is supposed to be really good. I've read some crossed uh, before. 
I haven't read the Alan Moore stuff, so I picked this up just to get a feel for it. But I've heard Cross is supposed to be, by Alan Moore, supposed to be good. Here's the page where Spider-Man punches. Let me bring this up closer. Right. <laughs> I like that. That was good. I have the first appearance of Black Cat. First and second appearance of Black Cat. Tink, how are you doing? If you base it entirely on who has beaten who, there's a fan theory that Squirrel Girl is the most yeah powerful character in the Marvel Universe. I think I remember seeing that somewhere. Yeah, someone told me about that. I didn't know about that. And it was actually one of my students told me about that. And they said, oh, Squirrel Girl has beaten Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet. I said, what? And it goes, with Squirrel Girl, what they do? And I didn't notice. I don't read Squirrel Girl. I don't know too much of Squirrel Girl, but my student really liked it. And he said, basically the way it works is they don't show how Squirrel Girl beats, it, beats them. They just show Squirrel Girl going into the fight, and on the next page, they show Squirrel Girl <laughs> triumphant, right? Which I think it's cool. It's fun. Conan the Barbarian. Bellet. I think this is the first appearance. I think so anyway okay. we're gonna do a reading of Conan the Barbarian number one but they put out a one dollar issue for it true believers print reprint right I have to pick it up I have to pick it up right but we're gonna read the original that I have okay we're not gonna read the reprint we're gonna read the original we have to we have to because they put out a new series Savage Sword of Conan and Conan the Barbarian because Marvel got it right. Spider Man and Miss Marvel doing a push for the Miss Marvel movie, right? So they're releasing a lot of uh, $1 issues. So if you want to read some historic, some. Oh, yeah, this was this one we already looked at. This was the Hulk fell down on the piles we're gonna put it together okay um, but here's a uh, one this is Avengers reprint of Avengers number 10 I have it it's the first appearance of rogue okay it's a good read I read it way way back in the day but I don't remember it at all so I'm gonna read it again it's my to read list Avengers and uh, if you're into wanted to get some comics you don't you don't know what to read or what not and you don't want to spend the money then go to your comic book retailer just before a movie comes out or a few weeks before a movie comes out right now for Marvel anyway what they're doing is they're releasing one dollar issues promoting a character either because they're releasing a movie or they're releasing comic book series right so that's one way to read some of the key historic issues Captain Marvel I haven't read maybe I've read like one or two of the Captain Marvel comics before I haven't read the rest so I'm looking forward to reading these and I don't have these in my collection I know I don't I wasn't I don't think I have anyway if I did it's just random buys I wasn't collecting mm, Marvel uh, what do you call it uh, Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel this i picked up but i didn't read port of earth and the artwork uh, looks phenomenal for it okay um, i picked it up because it's sci-fi and whatnot i want to crack it open i'm going to show you the artwork for it if i remember correctly anyway but i picked it up from the dollar bin i paid full price when it came out but i picked it up in the dollar bin because I want to read it I didn't get a chance to read it and it's like a mint copy right here's the cover looks beautiful okay it's from image comics like the artwork looks fantastic for it 
just alien sci-fi dark feel to it I like this kind of this kind of artwork So I'm going to give it a read. I've heard good things about this series. I think it's... I don't know if it's finished or not. I followed it for a few issues. I had it as my pull list. And then... Uh, I took it off. Captain Marvel again. The Kree. Scroll War. Fantastic universe, right? Fun. So those are what I've been reading and the pile that I have as my to read list, right? So let me show you uh, what I picked up this week. What I picked up uh, last week, some of it anyway. Uh, this week I've really reduced. There's weeks where I'm only getting one comic book or two comic books. This week I ended up getting a fair bit. Uh, I went and <laughs> scanned the racks, <laughs> right? And I added a couple of things to my to my pull list. Um, there was a lot that came out this week. There's a lot that came out. Um, okay, here, let me show you these. Now, what I've, uh, what's happened is I've ran out of boards, uh, just regular size, uh, silver eight size boards. So, uh, so I haven't been able to bag and board all of them properly uh, for, this, for this week's rack anyway. Okay, so I have them in golden age bags and boards, and they're open because I'm going to switch them up as soon as I get my boards. But I picked up a dark red from Aftershock. Okay, here, let me put these guys here that way. I can organize things, put them down properly. Okay, so Dark Red from Aftershock. Okay, this is a zombie thing. I haven't read it yet. Okay, and I picked up two copies, All right? My budget this week was a little higher, so I picked up a couple of copies, and that's what I do do with comic books uh, sometimes if I have the budget if I see something that I think is is interesting is worth it might increase in value a little bit I buy an extra copy or a couple extra copies or something like this right and I've done this before uh, collecting for whatever 25 years or so and then you sometimes flip them make a little extra money support your hobby right uh, invisible kingdom Okay. Willow Wilson Christian Ward. It's not on my pull list. I just picked it up uh, off the racks. Again, there's a lot of amazing sci fi being put out. So I'm trying to keep track of it. Okay. Rise number one from Scout Comics. I do try to pick up Scout Comics books. I think they're doing some amazing work uh, and they're really good as independent publishers okay more mature I've added immortal Hulk to my pull list okay do you, these ones that you just saw uh, from this week I just pulled off the racks right immortal Hulk is on my pull list okay I didn't jump on it right away, so I got a chase, or I'm buying second prints, or whatever it is, right? Um, but for the last couple of months, two or three months, I've been picking it up, and I went back and I picked up some of the first prints of the earlier ones. But this is Immortal Hulk number 15, Alex Ross cover. I believe this is Alex Ross as well. It must be same art style. Okay. I read a little bit of it. It's fantastic, and 
here's the variant cover for number 15 this cover is amazing fantastic cover really what an amazing cover this is one of the best Hulk covers I've ever seen fantastic like look at that right I like that a lot I picked up three <laughs> I had to do that's one of the reasons I don't scan the racks if my budget is very very low okay but what a beautiful cover let me take it out of the bag and show it to you without the glare okay Alex Ross art is some of my favorite yeah that Joker Joker and Harley artwork is so good the one that they're dancing uh, spot of teeth with the black background I wish I had the original of that I don't have that one I don't like everything Alex Ross puts out but some of the covers are just phenomenal and what I find with Alex Ross is some of his covers are missing the life yeah with Joker and the black tux yeah amazing cover spot of the amazing cover I don't have I don't have take a look but this one has serious like motion to it it's a beautiful cover really Hulk pure it's not about his face it's about his the way he moves right and by all accounts a lot of people I love the Dave uh, Kewen Cowan Hulk where he made him beautiful and he put him out and uh, back in the 90s it was a, it was a great run uh, it was different uh, but by many people's account this immortal Hulk is the best Hulk series uh, that's ever been put out right hey come on get in there okay let's put the board in first and then we put the comic that's the way we usually go so much easier to do than with the board and the comic together okay here's some more that are on my pull list okay and the, again the rest of these are all on my pull list monstrous picking it up picking it up and I'm picking up the singles but I'm not reading the singles I'm waiting for the trades to come out and I'm reading the trades right so I'm trade waiting the series to read but I'm picking up the singles it has to be done it's one of the greatest series ever put out fantastic very unique amazing artwork hardcore uh, storytelling universe building I'm also picking up Venom it's on my pull list okay I've read some of the issues I'm not staying out with it but I've read some of the issues great series great series do you own the legendary Schmigo comic with the four uh, smugglers I don't know that one Matt Schmigo comic with the four smugglers I don't know that I don't know which one that is I'm picking up all the valiants this week was good exo man of war really <sighs> underrated company Toyo Harada number one the life of death of Toyo Harada and these are all the pre-order editions uh, I've asked my comic bookshop to put the pre-order editions uh, in my box to pick up right incursion number two and supposedly the bloodshot movie is due to be released in 2020 can't wait can't wait wow 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 I wonder I wonder right I wonder that was this week this was a heavy week for me I've really cut back in the last uh, uh, four months or so 
Okay. Here's some stuff. It's either from last week or in the last couple of weeks anyway. Okay. Right? Beautiful cover. Amazing Spider-Man. I believe it's Amazing Spider-Man anyway. This came out for the February, I think for Valentine's or a few weeks later. So this, this is in the last month or so. Okay. Venom number 11, the previous to the other one. And this is the Watchman variant. Cool cover. Punchline, I've been picking up. I haven't read it yet. I don't know how far I'm going to continue with it. Yeah, the Spider-Man uh, Mary Jane one is cute. I'm assuming you mean that one. Game on Home Mom. Deadly Class. I've only read a couple issues way back when it first came out. I haven't read the rest, uh, but I will at some point. And I've watched like three episodes of the series, the TV series has come out. Fantastic TV series. I'm going to do a binge on it. Live wire number four. Nice. Immortal Hulk number 15. Oh, sorry, number 14. The previous one was number 15. So this is last month's. Little Bird. This one I think I picked up a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful artwork. Skim through it. Okay. Supergirl 28. Picked it up because of the cover. Beautiful cover. Really. Beautiful cover. Bloodshot Spirit Rising. Awesome. Awesome. The Forgotten Queen, number one. All that food talk before got me hungry. Finally having some blueberry yogurt and granola. Nice. That's a good food. Blueberry yogurt and granola. Delicious. I might have some after we finish uh, recording and streaming. Wasted Space. I love the artwork for this. Um, I skimmed through the first issue, first couple of issues when it first came out. I didn't read the whole thing. Super Girls. <laughs> Very. But this is a great series. I think this is the last issue. I think I took it off my pull list. Um, I might not have. I think I've kept it on there. Uh, I just want to keep it going as far as long as I can but if I'm not going to read it uh, if I don't start reading it soon uh, then I might take it off my pull list I'm not sure how long it is I think it's a continuing series you should do a cooking stream sometime again those are fun ah, I plan on it right we'll see if I can get it done um, sooner rather than later so those are the comics I picked out um, to show you so far, right? Uh, of what I've been pulling. Now, I have some stuff in boxes, but let's jump over those. What I want to do is I want to show you how I go about adding things to my pull list or giving orders to my comic book store, right? And I'm going to show you what caught my attention. <laughs> Let me show you this too. What caught my attention? Uh, for this month's order that you place in with the comic stores put in and then they get the order like i guess books come in two months later but during the last i'm going to show you a toy okay that i bought that i specially ordered and i ordered it through the catalog and i'll show you what the catalog is right and what i do is i skim through the catalog and I go through the split up between comic books and then toys and dolls and accessories 
right? It's a sort of a flip catalog, right? And I flip through the comics first, and I go through and I rip out pages and decide what I want, right? Or what I might get, okay? And I go through the toys as well, but I never order any toys. I don't buy any toys, okay? I have some toys in my boxes and stuff that I've collected over the years that we used, but I never I haven't bought a toy for a long time, right? Except for this. I picked this up about a year and a half ago. Green lit Conan movie already. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hollywood needs the green lit Conan movie already. Agreed. They just put one out, I think, a couple of years ago, but it wasn't very good. I watched like 15 minutes. I had to stop. Okay. Only for Arnold's in it. So this is the point. And just just on that note, top fiver. Hollywood needs to green lit a Conan movie already, right? This toy I ordered. Because a TV series came out, which I loved. It was half animation, half live action. So you had animation characters interacting with live action. And I loved it. It was fantastic. Okay. I think they put out eight episodes or 13 episodes, 13 episodes, I believe. And I binged it and I watched it twice, right? But I, I knew it was going to be canceled. And this was coming, this came out when the show was airing so i ordered it right uh because i wanted to have it okay and it's son of zorn <laughs> this is the only toy i've bought in the last two decades okay and it's basically the tv premise was he's like a cartoon character from a world called uh I forget where the world is. They give a name to this world, this island. And he gets into a relationship with a human being, this woman. And then they're separated and they have a son together and he comes and lives with the human beings. And he's a Conan type of character. It's basically like, seriously, it's like a Conan character, but ridiculously over the top. And just humor galore. So I bought this because I wanted it. Okay, and he gets a job in an office. <laughs> Here's the back of it. That's one hell of a last toy purchase. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> in like two decades, this is the this is the only toy purchase I've made. Right. It's too bad they canceled the series. It was a great series, great series unfortunate i'm unfortunate so unfortunate so unfortunate they canceled it <laughs> okay as far as ordering comic books let me show you how i go about ordering comic books or looking through and checking out what's coming right there is basically sort of catalogs one that dc comics puts out right and they send out to retailers. The distributor sends out to retailers and they place orders of what they want according to what's listed here, right? So I go through those and Marvel does the same thing, okay? They put out a catalog with the books that they're putting out and retailers have to go through that and order it. And for me, if I have, you know, if you get a box, a pull list with this comic shop that I have a pull list with, they allow you to pick these up for free, okay? Otherwise, they're either free or they charge you like $2 or whatnot, okay? And the main one is something called previews, which is this thing, previews, that Diamond Distributed puts out every month, give it to their retailers, and it's a catalog of comic books listed based on the different companies there are, and you know what the companies are putting out and dc comics used to be in here and marvel comics many moons ago used to be in here but they separated right so dc puts out their own catalog marvel puts out their own catalog and everybody else is in here valiant image dark horse aftershock whoever it might be right and they have like you know they list like stuff like this right you know they have the the comic book the description the price and they have a number okay that you fill out you say how many stuff you need now my comic book store 
allows me to grab, you know, these things uh, one a month and just go through it and tell them, you know, what I want. And here's Boom, you know, Boom does the same thing. And the smaller publishers, uh, you know, they have little panels. Here, let me show you. They don't get as much space, right? So, we're dead, Sonia. <laughs> like, you know, they have smaller space in here, right? Where they list stuff. You have to pay extra to have big pages and whatnot. And, uh, you know, here's some other indies, right? So I go through this catalog. It's fun to do, really. It's fun to do. I go through it, and I look at the covers, and you know, if something catches my eye, I read the description. I read to see who the artists are, and I go to certain companies that are listed here because I read everything that they're putting out, and if I like something, uh, you know, I note it. And what I do is, I usually tear out the pages, and I use them as bookmarks. Uh, and I, you know, at the end of the month, if I, you know, I re-look over what, you know, I tore out, what caught my attention, and I go to my comic book retailer, and if I can afford it, I have the budget, I tell them, hey, listen, I'd like to order this, or I'd like to order this. So for this previews, which is, here, let me mark, put this out, and on the other side, it's sort of a flip thing. So, you know, one side, let me show you, one side is comic books, and then on the other side, you read it this way, it's toys, and, you know, let me show you. You know, they have the toys listed, and, uh, you know, figurines, and just different things listed. That's where I found the Zorn stuff, right? But let me show you as far as the comic book goes. This is for the March 2019. These are the ones that I tore out that I might get put on my pull list. Just order it, right? Uh, this is from Vault Comics. Nathan Gooden and Tim Daniel. And it's, she said destroy. Okay. So this looked interesting. You know, the order, I think I have to put it in this week. If I decide to take it, uh, you know, order this, put it on my pull list. I might do it, maybe, okay? Here's another one that caught my attention. John Carpenter's Tale of Science Fiction, Surviving Nuclear Attack, right? This thing looked interesting. It's got a little write-up down here, what it is. I don't, I, you know, I don't think my budget allows ordering that one, uh, but we see. And some of these things, like, take a look, they have multiple things listed, right? So sometimes I tear it out, and I try to figure out what it is that I wanted to order from that. For this one, what I want to tell my comic book retailer is, Alterna Comics basically releases comic books that are a dollar fifty or $0.99. Cents. And I've picked up a fair bit of Alterna uh, in the past. I've added it to my pull list. I took it off my pull list because Diamond Distributors, the comic shop wouldn't be ordering too many, but Diamond Distributors would send them two copies and both copies of whatever they sent would be damaged. So Diamond Comics is not handling these smaller publishers, their comic books well. So one time I even had to send the comic back. I said, listen, I can't buy this. The cover was torn, right? And the retailer was like, yeah, of course, this is horrendous. So they sent it back, they ordered another copy, and the other copy came in, and that was even torn. So I was like, man, very unfortunate that we live in a society where comic books are in the hands of a small corp, well, relatively small corporation that controls the flow of all the comic books. So if they don't, uh, they don't, if the comic book company is not in the good light of this monopoly distributor, their comics aren't handled properly. They don't care, right? Very unfortunate, but I'm gonna go back to the retailer and tell them to add all of the alternate comics. And alternate comics, there's gonna be uh, one, uh, two, three, four, five more, five books they're putting out. Uh, it's enlisted in the March 
2019 catalog, which it comes out two months later. Okay. We see, we see. I tore these out of the DC catalog, and the reason I tore these out is because I like the Wonder Woman covers. This is Wonder Woman number 70. Okay. Number 70. And Wonder Woman number 71. And I don't have this on my pull list, but I want to order these covers. This one. Looks amazing. And this one. Okay. We'll see. Uh, they're going to have enough issues of that, so uh, there shouldn't be a problem grabbing it later. Uh, this one I'm thinking about grabbing as well. Star Blazers Space Battleship Yamota. $21.99 volume one trade paperback take a look I used to watch this religiously when I was a kid star blazers I used to get up at 6 a.m. in the morning before school and watch it what an amazing series and one day I'm going to sit down and do a full-blown marathon on star blazers maybe this year okay one of the greatest animated series ever to come out. And I've only read a couple of issues of randoms of Star Blazers manga. Uh, which one was this one I wanted to get? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Terry Moore. Okay, he's putting out a new series called Five Years. And it's basically a lot of the, all his characters are going to appear in there. Motor Girl um, from uh, Stranger in Paradise and uh, Rachel Rising and um, Echo and stuff, right? So I might be ordering this. I might be picking this up, putting it on my pull list. Looks cool. And Terry Moore is amazing. Okay. And I'm thinking about ordering this. Rick and Morty number 50. And there's a five... So this is Rick and Morty number 50, and I don't have Rick and Morty on my pull list, but I want to order these five issues. It's a, uh, all the covers make one splash page. They connect together. Okay. So I might order this. Okay. Rick and Morty, one, two, three, four, five, right? And they're all the reprints of the first five issues. And Rick and Morty number one, the early issues go for crazy amounts. Rick and Morty number one uh, goes sells for like two hundred dollars, okay, and the one in twenty five sells for like a thousand dollars because there weren't that many ordered. Uh, I'm pretty sure the orders are pretty high right now, but I'm definitely going to be placing the order for this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think so. The reprint of Rick and Morty number one, two, three, four, five with connecting covers. And have those up on a wall somewhere, Frank. Possibly, maybe I'll look at my budget, see if I can do it. Okay, and uh, I have, you know, I brought previews from the other, you know, yeah. I have the previews from, you know, some of the other months as well, the previous months, and you know, the pages that I tore, tore out, that uh, I was thinking of getting. Uh, some I placed very few I'm not placing very many of them so out of the how many do we have here one two three four five six seven out of these seven I'm probably only gonna be placing uh, two of them with the retailer two or three of them with the retailer right so I go through another filter of this thing okay um, that's what I wanted to show you guys uh, people have been asking me what I've been reading what I've been collecting what I'm pulling uh, if I have any recommendations uh, that's sort of the gist of what I've been doing with the comic books. Aside from some of the trades I've been flipping through, and uh, there's a couple of trades I've read, actually more than that. Uh, I should have brought those out as well, but I didn't, just to show you what I've been reading. But there's, I think, like three or four trades I've read, uh, like either omnibus or collections that I've read, 
while going through the books that I've showed you that I've read so far, right? So it's not just the floppies, the reading copies that I'm reading. I've also been reading some trades and stuff, and I have some trades lined up to read as well. And I'll show you the, those uh, as well as soon as I get into the next trade that we're going to do. Okay, um, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to go join chat in the live stream and uh, answer any questions, talk about any of these books or whatever they want to talk about. And um, we'll be back with another video, either comic book, Ace of Our Map, cooking live stream, uh, or whatever it might be, uh, fairly soon. Okay, there's a few videos I've got lined up to do that uh, we are getting done. And we've done some comic book readings uh, right now. We did two love comic book readings that I've posted on. And we're going to take a segment of one of the readings with the Gene Kelly interview. And I'm going to load that on by itself. And uh, there's one more comic book reading we've got lined up to do, which is a war comic book from the golden age of comics uh, by request, right? Uh, aside from that, thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye for now.